Police and medics are teaming up for the first scheme of its kind aimed at dealing better with people with mental illness. They'll travel together to the scene of incidents and emergencies so suspects can be assessed on the spot. It's been welcomed by the family of a factory worker who died after being restrained by police. Giles Latcham reports. He's a man of words, but the poet Benjamin Zephaniah is never more heartfelt than when he talks about his cousin, Mikey Powell. Mikey suffered from mental health problems and 11 years ago, in the midst of a psychotic episode, was restrained by police officers outside his home in Lazelles in Birmingham. He later died of asphyxiation in a police station. The problem was the police came and just treated him like a criminal. Um, within two hours, he was dead. It's the Mikey Powell case, among others, that's led to this, a rapid response car carrying a police officer, mental health nurse and paramedic. We'll have everything there in one place. We'll be able to deal with the patient quickly and their journey into um, hospital if needed or signposted to another uh, avenue. It'll all happen a lot quicker for them. 20% of the work that we do actually out on the street is mentally health driven, so this will have a massive impact. By putting in a, a vehicle, a, a nurse, an ambulance paramedic and a police officer, we can actually now start to problem solve at the first point of contact. And you make sure that when they come down, they bring him here and we'll just get an idea of what his state of mind is and what the officers have decided they're going to do with him. Things have come a long way. At cells in Stoke-on-Trent, psychiatric nurses support police officers in assessing suspects when they're arrested. Do you want a blanket or anything? No. But this new scheme should mean they go not to a police station, but to a mental health facility. If this scheme was in place then, it's simple. I think I'm pretty sure Mikey would be alive now. Because anybody who was skilled in the area of mental health would see that what he needed was somebody to talk to, someone to calm him down, not somebody to arrest him. Mikey's family campaigned for this scheme. Initially, it's for 12 months only, but they hope it will run far into the future, averting tragedies like theirs. Giles Latcham, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham.